Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and today's topic is gravity. What is gravity? Gravity is a force, which is a push or a pull on an object. And the push and pull that we feel on the surface of the Earth is the force of gravity pulling us down or to the center of the Earth in all directions. On a larger scale, a macro scale, we have planets and moons and suns that are sphere-shaped because the force of gravity pulling everything inward, causing planets, suns, and moons to be in a sphere shape. Now, it is this force of gravity that causes all objects to fall downward to the surface of the Earth. Now, the larger the mass, which means the measure of the amount of matter in an object, and all things are made of matter, the more matter you have, the greater your mass. Now, in 1971, there was a live television broadcast from the surface of the moon, where Apollo 15 astronaut David Scott conducted Galileo Galilei's famous hammer and feather drop experiment. Now, in 1634, Galileo concluded that all objects, regardless of their mass, they fall at the same speed. Now, you have a feather and you have a hammer. The hammer has more weight because it is a product of mass times gravity. So this has a good amount of mass in comparison to the feather, but you have gravity affecting the hammer more so than the feather because of something we call air resistance or drag, where you have air within our atmosphere on planet Earth acting on that increased surface area of the feather causing it to fall with the force of gravity much slower than you would the hammer. But NASA wanted to know that if on the moon there is little atmosphere or very little or to no air resistance like there is in comparison here on Earth. So the objects, hammer and feather, should drop and hit the surface of the moon at the same time. So, David Scott, in his Apollo astronaut suit, bravely went out with, in his hand, a hammer, a geology hammer, and in his other hand, a falcon feather named after the lunar module that they were in and studying the lunar surface inside of, stood, held these items up in his hand and dropped them. Now, if you happen to have a feather and a hammer, you can do this experiment at your home as well to test and to see how they relate on Earth. So, we're going to do that experiment now. What do you think will happen? Let's test. Three, two, one. Which one hit the ground first? On Earth, the hammer will hit the ground first. Not because it is heavier, but because there is less surface area for wind resistance to cause the feather to gently float on the surface. Check out this video and you can see that the Apollo 15 David Scott experiment worked a little bit differently on the lunar surface. And remember, whether you're on Earth or on the surface of the moon, science never stops.